Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Mr. Oathclaw, welcome back to some more Formula 1 2020 My Team Career Episode 3 over here uh, And our first race in Hanoi, Vietnam uh, So at the start over here, I'm just filling up the like, activity timeline I'm going to go with a sponsor event, uh, driver promotion, filming And for the, for the last one, I'm going to probably go for the power team building uh, so this gearbox durability actually failed, so I'm just going to develop that yet again, as it can't fail this time. And uh, these uh, aero uh, uh, parts over here are in development over here. And actually minor updates, but we need that to get the, the major ones. So over here I'm starting my first flying lap of Hanoi over here, uh, I haven't really done too much, like I don't really, I just skip practice because yeah it just takes too much time and I'm pretty sure I've only raced uh, once before like a 5 lap race on here so I don't really have too much experience, uh, so yeah let's see how it, how it goes. Uh, of course last episode in Bahrain we well, we scored points, four points to be exact. Uh, we finished P8, our best finish so far, and we started P7, which is our best qualifying so far. Uh, so let's see if we can top that in this race over here. Uh, so we did get like we couldn't really turn in. That's like that roundabout over there. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like a roundabout. It's like you really need downforce, like yeah, to be able to turn in and put the power down early but I lose so much time over there compared to the other cars it's yeah it's really bad and over here I just need to wait the extra half a second to put like the full power down uh, otherwise I'll just end up going into the wall uh, so I really like sector 3 over here it's kind of like challenging but really fun at the same time too uh, we've got this like kind of like double left coming up over here which is just kind of like a lift you don't really need to break for that but you need to break for these two corners over here. Uh, it's actually quite a long track too as you can see over here. Uh, we're going to be about 1 minute 30 something if we come across the line. This last corner over here too I've played it with like a multiplayer car. Uh, so it's like the like a top out car and you can actually get it. Uh, you can go there like flat out. As you can see I passed the first one P6 on my second fire lap. I actually damaged my front wing over there, uh, so I need to damage. of course box to fix it. I <laughs> go uh, on the same lap, just a bit further, uh, further like towards the pit stop. <laughs> I damage my other front wing, like my other side of the front wing. So I go in, get my uh, front wing repaired, and a new set of softs put on. And here we go for our well third attempt, but second proper uh, qualifying. Uh, but there you go, we we spin, which it yeah, wasn't too good, but I guess this does look cool, just uh, spinning around over here to get back, going in the right direction. <laughs> but yeah, we've had three attempts, and I've only set one qualifying lap, so I'm going to go in, get a new set of uh, tyres, because those are actually uh, you know, quite bad. But we scraped the wall on entry over there. Uh, no front wing damage though, which is really lucky. I'm not really sure why I've got it set on, uh, what kind of like damage, but yeah. Uh, so there you go, our fourth uh, attempt over here. Uh, Just 30 seconds left in the session. Yeah, we've actually got really... Uh, well, we made it in time to start our last lap, but we're not going to have another lap after this. So let's hope this one is good. Uh, so yeah, we had two failed attempts over there, which is really bad, because we'll be able to go up for three runs. Uh, three different set of runs for you know three different labs, but over here I had to go out well an, an additional time because uh, the, like the second and the third time failed. Uh, but yeah, we're actually up on time right now. We are in P14 for the moment. As we go down this long straight, a really good place to overtake if you can actually get on the power. Uh, or down really early on that like roundabout which I really can't so I'm gonna 
lose a lot of time on that strike so I won't be able to get up to top speed as fast as the others. So uh, in sector 3 over here, my favourite sector to be honest of this entire circuit. Uh, Lewis Hampton sets the pole position but then Bottas sets it like just after. Uh, so let's see, final two corners over here. We're up uh, 3 tenths, nearly 4 now. So let's see how we do when we cross the line. It's about half a second improvement over my first lap. And that's good enough for P12. So that's uh, a decent result, not the P7 we had in the in last, uh, last video in Bahrain, but P12 is still Verstappen decent enough. 1.6 seconds off of pole. All that remains is the main event. We'll be live and we're going to check where King uh, qualified, so sure and it's a P21, so not really his strongest uh, performance, but yeah, he'll get used to it. The Formula One circus has arrived in Southeast Asia once more, as we usher in a new era and get ready to go racing here in Vietnam. A lap of Hanoi circuit then, 3.4 miles around the Vietnamese capital. A number of the 23 corners take their inspiration from other great circuits, hopefully creating plenty of passing opportunities. Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. So, let's briefly discuss Lewis Hamilton. That was a great win at the last race. Could they keep that momentum going this weekend? It's always nice to come into a Grand Prix weekend on a high, but your expectations are based much more on your practice and qualifying runs. So it's the momentum from those sessions that they'll be hoping to carry into the race today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The Finn starts from pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Vettel, Charles Leclerc and Albon, Sainz, Ricardo, Ocon and Lando Norris, Stroll, Red, Sergio Perez and Kvyat. Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Kevin Magnussen, and Pierre Gasly, Grosjean, Russell, King, and Nicholas Latifi. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Okay, so here we are at the start of the race. Yeah, and as Jeff says, let's keep the momentum going. Let's try and get some points in this race because that would be really nice. Uh, so I'm going to probably go for the next, uh, for the second uh, strategy over here. Uh, with some softs to softs to mediums uh, because uh, the hard tyres are just really bad I'm not really sure if it's just my car that's like bad or if the hard tyres in this game are just like not really that good so over here uh, the formation lap of course I, I wanted to turn it off but I just, I, I just thought to keep it in uh, but I did turn the AI up to 90 from 85 so it's on expert mode now so let's see how we do is responding normally. Make sure to warm up the tyres and brakes. Warm the tyres and brakes throughout the lap. Yeah, so let's do as Jeff says. Let's warm up the tyres and the brakes uh, to get a good start. Uh, so over here we're forming back up at the back. Well, at P12, not really at the back, back, but yeah, right in the middle of the pack. Uh, so we did warm up my my tyres quite a lot. I'm pretty sure we should be ready for a quick getaway. So we've got Lando Norris right in front of us. And I'm pretty sure that is Ricardo in front of him. So a McLaren and a Renault. Okay, so we're getting ready. Rich Mix on overtake mode straight away. And it's lights out and away we go. I <laughs> said so a bit too early but we get a really good start yet again up to P10. Up to P9 is it. Where we get a warning for collision with Norris. I don't really touch him I don't think. But I guess I guess the game did see that. There's a yellow flag for some reason. I'm not really sure what. Just for a quick second though. Uh, we're up to P9. We're battling with Ricardo for position over here. And we do manage to get past, but as you can see over here, Albon is already like 
probably a second in front of us, so we lose so much time just like battling and not just focusing on the race. It's uh, yeah, kind of kind of crazy. So we're already out like DRS range, maybe I'm not too sure. At this corner, you really need downforce to kind of get you around and then to be able to put the power down as fast as possible because this like uh, straight is really long and well you need to get to max speed as fast as possible uh, not use up too much overtake because you could probably burn out your whole overtake just on this uh, straight over here so I go defensive against Ricardo I actually touch Albon but as I check over here my front wing is actually uh, in shape this isn't really turning out to be a good weekend for us uh, we get ba quite bad uh, look in qualifying and yeah we already are kind of falling back away from Albon and yeah I said I enjoy sector 3 but maybe not in this car because as you can see compared to the cars in front of us I'm just losing so much time on these corners over here and the straights I'm like okay-ish but the corners that's where I, uh, where I lose most of the time so across uh, the line over here starting lap 2 I've actually run away from Ricardo quite a lot now uh, the timings are messed up in the top left over there I'm not really sure what that's about but uh, but yeah I'm not yeah I'm not really sure at all uh, but we've actually closed up to Albon quite a lot and on lap 4 uh, we're right behind the buzz you can see over here I just need to wait that extra half a second to a second to put the power down and that's actually going to give Ricardo a shot at overtaking me doesn't even need DRS which comes uh, later on down the straight over here uh, he does actually get DRS from us uh, so I actually need to use my overtake just to keep up with him and to be able to overtake him uh, over here or at least give it a shot or nearly goes down the inside of me uh, he's actually still there but we managed to well we nearly slide out but we managed to keep him behind me Oh, it's really good. On to lap 6 over here, I've just been kind of defending from Ocon for all this time. And I really want to stay with Ricardo over here in his uh, slipstream uh, until we get DRS and I'm able to uh, like uh, press the overtake button uh, to kind of like keep up with him over here uh, to get the DRS because uh, yeah, we want to overtake him. We're, we're down in P9 which is better than we started but yeah, I want to make up positions too. So a big disaster over here, we well, I misjudged my braking uh, spot over there and actually go right into the back of Sainz over there, damaging my front wing and yeah it was bad enough before, now it's just uh, yeah, a disaster, I cannot turn at all during this, I need to like go off the front for a really long time just to be able to get my car around, uh, so I need to box on lap 6 which is about 3 laps before uh, where we wanted to box but I'm gonna need to box because I'm gonna lose so much time within these four laps or three laps that yeah, it's just not gonna be worth staying out so I'm gonna go on to medium straight away uh, this just kind of switch my strategy and go a bit further on these mediums and then hope to kind of make some time back up so as you can see in the top left we're losing so many positions we're gonna probably come out last uh, as our pick box is right at the end over here let's see how fast they change it, well, they need to change my uh, front wing too so it's going to take some time release, release. yeah 7 seconds which is yeah not really good as uh, we're down in P22 but uh, this kind of pit ex exit is actually quite a lot faster to like leave than going around turn 1 so we actually do manage to jump Latifi over there and on lap 8 over here, uh, we're right behind Russell, catching him up, uh, overtake overtake mode on, rich mix on, and uh, yeah, I'm closing up to him, I get DRS right now, and I'm just hoping to overtake him uh, by the end of this long straight, he goes kind of defensive, I send him down the inside, I uh, break just in time, and yeah I do make it work so that's a really good overtake by me I should say and on to lap 9 over here loads of people going for the first stops when I should have been coming in but you know, yeah I do go a bit wide over there because I wanted to break as late as possible to uh, get ahead of Ocon but that actually makes me lose the place to Ocon which is really bad uh, so still in P19 not really doing the best 
Uh, King is like in about P15 at this point, so if no even further ahead. Uh, on to lap 9, a bit later on. As you can see over there, I wanted to put the power down as fast as possible and turn overtake on uh, to get past Ocon, but I nearly slide out and I lose the front end. And yeah, I lose uh, 1.7 seconds to him. So on to lap 10 over here. Uh, the second set of pit stops for some people who started, or who actually just wanted, uh, just who stayed out on softs for longer. But we do manage to stay in front of everyone who pitted. So we're be uh, behind uh, Ocon and in front of Norris at the moment. Uh, but Norris on fresh softs, so he's going to be able to easily overtake us. I don't even want to use overtake over here. It's not even worth the fight. And I don't really have too much of it. I want to really harvest it for later. Uh, so as you can see over here, I just need to wait that like half a second extra to be able to put the power down. Uh, lap 11, another set of uh, stops for people. And now Fiat is right behind me, uh, well, fighting me for the position to take away P13 from me, uh, which, I, which is the position I am in at the moment. I'm just trying my best just to stay in front of him. As you can see over here, DR, uh, not DRS, overtake on, but he gets the DRS. I'm down to 23% on the ERS. And now I just want to stay behind him as close as possible uh, to get the DRS over here and get the jump on him into the next corner over here. So there you go, ERS on, overtake mode on. I don't want to use too much of it because I've only got 12% now. I get the DRS and I'm closing up to him really fast so he must have low ERS too. Uh, he goes defensive and we send it down the inside or the outside to be honest. I didn't really, yeah, the outside. And we do actually make it work so that's a really good, really good overtake from me yet again. So on to lap 12, the next lap, uh, stroll pit so we gain P12 which is really good. Uh, now onto this long straight the first one, uh, Kfiat overtakes me yet again because he gets DRS and I just have like no speed to fight with. Uh, so we go past over here, I want to keep up with him, I'm right behind him. And we actually get a good uh, line out of there. But as you can see over here, uh, pretty sure he just got DR uh, ERS on like straight away as he's pulling away. But now we've got, we're in his slip through, we've got DRS on. Uh, we're going so fast, 328 kilometers an hour, and there you go, let's break, there you go, just about in time, and we get up to P12 yet again on lap 12. So the standard mixture over here, I don't have too much fuel left because uh, our car isn't really efficient in saving fuel, so we're going to have to work on that in the future. So over here, Max Verstappen sits the fastest lap of the race so far. Uh, so let's see if, what we can do over here. So we're going on to the last uh, two corners of lap 12. And we're going to go on to lap 13 soon. As I make a mistake, I turn it too fast and then Fiat goes behind me, goes into the back of me. And he actually takes me out, out of the race. I don't have flashback on, so I can't do anything. And as you can see over here... Uh, the last uh, the last corner over here. I touched the wall, I turned it too fast. Then he runs to the back of me because he had nowhere to go. And I crashed into the wall and that's, well as you can see from his camera over here. Uh, he couldn't really do anything. And yeah, that's, that's the race over for me. Our third race and we DNF. Which is really bad. Uh, because, yeah, I could have maybe made some points even after that uh, front wing damage in the first couple, in the first couple of laps. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. 
If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. So as you can see over here, the Mercedes win, uh, it's the third one I'm pretty sure, and uh, Valkyrie's second, so I'm pretty sure he is leading this uh, championship. Uh, Lewis comes in second, Max Verstappen third, uh, Vettel fifth, uh, fourth, and Leclerc fifth, so uh, yeah, the Ferrari's still uh, doing too well over here, because uh, they'd probably be down at like around P7, P8, maybe even lower. Uh, but yeah, uh, a DNF for us, so no points on the table because uh, King actually finished in P16 or something, so no, uh, we're going to check right now over here. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Daniel Kvyat actually got a 5 second penalty, that's for our incident over there, which is... Uh, yeah, so there, King in 15th place, uh, and there is us, uh, a DNF, so yeah, quite a really bad weekend for us, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.